Hello, happy Monday? Is it really Monday? Yeah, happy Monday. I hope everybody had an awesome Monday. And I was just about to go get dinner started. Like literally just about to go get dinner started. But then my dad was like, Alexa, you have packages out here. And I was like, oh, what could it be? What could it be? Do y'all know what these two things are? These are two out of the three pairs of shoes that I ordered off of Poshmark. And what Poshmark is, I kind of called it like a dumbed down eBay. Not really a dumbed down eBay, but basically people go in there and they sell their clothes and jewelry and is that basically it? I just got on it personally, but they go on and they can sell like fashion stuff and it'll be stuff that it'll be used, but it's fashion stuff and usually it's good prices. So where's my iPad? There it is over there. And I am so freaking shocked. Here's why. Because I literally, it felt like I ordered these things yesterday. And it, 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 it was either yesterday, I shouldn't point this knife like towards me, but it was either yesterday or two days ago. It literally felt like I just ordered these and here they are. So let me pull up my information because I think it said once I open it, if it's decent and everything, um, I have to go on Poshmark and yada, yada, yada. All right, I'll do that in a minute. Let's open up the one on top first. And I think I explained this in one of the vlogs. I ordered three pairs of shoes because I'm not as much of a nut about shoes as a Fit Kid is, but I still like my shoes too. So I ordered a pair of Nikes, a pair of Uggs, and a pair of Converse, which were used. Like other, they're uh, sort of like hand-me-downs from a stranger. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to clean them, of course. But we'll see how these look. Open up this box with my handy-dandy knife. Hopefully a gigantic spider doesn't fly out of these. Hopefully I don't get scammed. Like that's another thing. Can I please not get scammed? All right. Do I got a pair of shoes in here? Yes I do, yes I do. Let's see how these look. Okay, these are my Nikes. It looks like my Nikes, are they? Yeah, probably so. They came all wrapped up like this. Nice and wrapped up. They're a size nine, which is what I wear. This is how they look. Now, let's see. These are a size nine. Okay, looks like I can fit these. I, I just gotta clean them up a little bit, you know. Let me see if they fit. Well, wait, wait, I shouldn't put them on just yet. I have to go spray them really quick, but they're cute. And let me see, I, I, I'm going to say these were $13 plus something shipping and handling. Was it like 15 bucks for these shoes? 17 bucks? You know how much a brand new pair of regular Nikes would cost? Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not much of a nut about shoes like Fit Kid is, but these are cute. As long as they're cute and comfortable. But let me see. Black and pink Nikes. Let me see. How much, how much did I pay for these? I think about 13 bucks. All right, let me unwrap this one. Hopefully the person didn't have like toe fungus or like stinky feet disease or something like that. Either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna go clean them out really quick before I put them on. But I'll be right back. Right back. Okay, so they fit. All right. So something that the person said was the aglet is missing off of this part of the shoelace, which that didn't bother me at all because we have like a whole bin full of uh, shoelaces in there, so I can just replace them. But these fit, they're perfect, all right. I got me a pair of Nikes that are cute and they're comfortable for 15 bucks. Y'all, for real. <laughs> Wait until I go show my dad. But what you're supposed to do is Poshmark will send you an email on this. You say, once you receive your item, please accept your purchase by marking the item as received from within the Poshmark app or website. Once you do this, we will let the seller know that the package is safely in your hands. Okay, so. Let me click on the link to go confirm it because I am very pleased with my purchase. Maybe I'll start selling things on Poshmark. I have so much stuff in here that I need to sell for real. So much stuff, so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh. We could have a big old yard sale in the front yard or the backyard. It's a yard sale with everything from this room. Like for real. <laughs> I don't even, we don't even need anybody else in this house to sell anything. Just clean out my room. Mm. But okay, let me just say that I received it and then we'll open up the next box. Okay, so this is the Poshmark app. Well, I, I clicked on news. So you open up the app. I think it is only for 
Apple products. Is that true? I don't think I found the app on Android because if they open it up to Android, they would get so much more business. But I think it's only on Apple for now, which is why it's on my iPad. But you open up the Poshmark app, click on News. Please accept black and pink Nikes. It was $16, bucks, $15.99 for a pair of Nikes. Wow. Accept order. And I'm going to rate it a 4. And, you know, I can, I can write a review on it. Packaging was, no, she can't improve on the packaging. The packaging was really good. Everything was good. I just rated it a four because the shoelace was busted. So, you know, submit. All right, so, next box. Where's my knife? Where's my weapon? Here it is. Ooh, I could order shoes off of a Poshmark more often. Sounds like there's one shoe in here. I don't know, maybe it's just my paranoia. But the box is kind of uh, damaged right here. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that's something that our crazy mail lady did or... Did I tell you about our crazy mail lady? Let me tell you about our crazy mail lady while I'm trying to open up this box. She is so... Or maybe it's a he... I don't know, but somebody keeps stuffing her mail in the mailbox. Like, one time I had my... I think I... Okay, here's a little foreshadowing of the wish haul. I think I put this in the wish haul when I ordered that emoji pillow. Um, it was literally stuffed in our mailbox, like, really, it was all squished in there, it's like, it's an emoji pillow, can you go set it on the porch, you have to get out of your truck, yes, that's part of your job, I almost reported him, or her, cause for real, if you're stuffing emoji pillows into the mailbox like that, you might stuff something more important in there, and it's like, some of these, some of our, uh, packages, you gotta get out of your truck, go put them on the porch, alright, ugh, Oh my goodness. See what we got in here. Okay. These are a pair of Converse. These are a size 9. Yes, they are. Now, these look horrific. But I think these were literally, I'm not sure exactly how much they cost it. But as you can look at these, I gotta go clean them up a bit. Now, I know how to... I know how to wash a shoe and get them clean as new, so that's why I got, I think these must have been really cheap, but you can look at these. They look bad. It looked like somebody was like walking through dirty knees. <laughs> so, I'm going and accept these. I'm holding them up like it's like, these are my new shoes, y'all, yeah, my Converse. I saw somebody walking around with Converse that were looking like these earlier. <laughs> but, let me accept them. These were 13 bucks. So yeah, that's what I thought. They were cheap. I just gotta go bleach them a little bit. They're kind of run over in the back. Yeah, these are used. Just gotta go bleach them a little bit. But I can get them looking good as new. Watch, I can get them looking good as new. I'm gonna give y'all an update on those shoes too. They gonna be looking so good. But alright y'all, that's the two out of the three. I got one more pair coming, so we shall see how that one pair looks. Hello, happy Wednesday. I hope everybody had an awesome Wednesday. And let me show you how the shoes turned out after we cleaned them. They turned out like this. Like this. Like this. Okay, now, do you remember how they looked when I first got them? They look a lot worse than this. So I threw them in the wash, threw some bleach in there, scrubbed them with something, and this is how they look. They look good. Now, the only thing is the black is a little bit faded but oh well <laughs> i'm content with that and then these nikes what we did was well my dad told me that they were run over so i was like okay i didn't really notice that but he put some some sort of something on them so that they're even now but it's something you buy some sort of shoe repair polish and you put them on your shoes when they run over so that's these and then he sprayed lysol in them <laughs> so i got one more thing I think this is from Poshmark because it's in an Amazon box. Had me thinking I got something from Amazon when I didn't. It's in a poorly, a poor looking Amazon box. So, you know, must have been one that she just had lying around her house. And we're going to look at what these are. I already know the rest. How is a box so poorly packaged, so hard to open? <sighs> and it's an Amazon Prime box. Really, you package it all the way around. There we go, there we go. 
Okay, here they are. Now, something she said about these boots is that they're not authentic Uggs. She said, cause something or something. But I'm gonna let y'all be the judge of that. Can y'all look at these boots and tell me if they're authentic? Okay. This is how they look from the front. This is the side. This is the back. Uh, I see that it says Ugg right there. So that that's kind of authentic to me. But if they weren't authentic, then why would they have Ugg right there? Did somebody just steal their logo? I'm going to show you this up close because she said that she doesn't think these are authentic and I got to look up why, oh, where's my iPad? I need to go look up exactly what she said about them but I'm going to show you this up close really quick and then I'm going to go get my iPad. Okay, can y'all see? Do y'all see how it says UGG? That, that's kind of authentic to me. I don't know. Does it really say, I don't know. I thought these were authentic but you know how I feel about these boots and stuff. It's like if they're cute, I'm going to wear them. I don't care if they're not I don't, I don't care but let me go see exactly what the lady said okay so I'm not sure if I told y'all how much I paid for them they were 30 bucks and I said that was good compared to my other Uggs which were like 200 or something like that okay so she said super soft and almost no signs of wear yes they are extremely soft I'm pretty sure these are not real Uggs because the sole is harder and does not bend at the toe. I don't care. But then you know something else that was cool? She put a bag in, in the shoes and it's an Apple bag. It has the Apple logo on it. I feel so rich. I have an Apple bag. Oh my goodness. And look, they're, they're stupid plastic bags have drawstrings on them. Like, look at this. So authentic. <laughs> Did she put me another one in this one? Dang. They must have Apple products up in their house. <laughs> Got another Apple bag. <laughs> but all right, I'm gonna try them on real quick. See how they fit. I could do that right now. Yeah, I can do that right now. All right. I'm ready for the fall months now, guys. <laughs> all right, I went and cleaned them out a little bit. And they do fit. They're comfortable. They're Uggs. So now I have two pairs of Uggs. But my other pair of Uggs are like knit boots or something like that. I really don't like them. Like, they just, I, I don't like them. Like, preferably, I wanted a pair of Uggs that were more on this style. I don't know. I, I just wanted something like this. And you can fold them down and wear them and they look like this. Like, these are cute. People be talking about Uggs are ugly. No, they're not. They're cute. <laughs> But, alright, those were the three shoes I ordered from Poshmark, so that's the end of this review. I really like it. You just, you just gotta be careful, because, you know, you may buy something and it might not be what you thought it was. Like, this is kind of like a eBay sort of thing. So, you just gotta be careful buying stuff, And but I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up, and I'll talk to y'all another day. Bye-bye.